All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to start a new project. Uh, we're going to start a movie application project. Um, pretty standard, um, not that hard. Uh, we'll interact with third party API. I guess it's a good thing to kick some uh, stuff started. Um, and then basically, what this application will do is it's always going to be a web application uh, us using Django, uh, Python Django, where basically, you know, uh, it can be able to search most recent TV shows and um, I don't know, uh, TV shows and movies. They can see the authors, description, cover, image, uh, where can you watch it, and they can even give a rating if they like to. All right, they can even give a reading. rating. So that's pretty decent. And so why don't we go ahead and get started then? Okay, so uh, I have a basic jingle application right here. Uh, so in here, we're going to go ahead and define a new... I'm going gonna, gonna to start a new application. And this, we're just going to call this... Um, um, I guess we can just call it home. That's going to be where home page can be located. And that's going to be the home view. Um, as always, we need to add it to the installed app. Uh, URLs. Let's see. Let's just give it index round. Yeah, nothing. All right, uh, URL stop high. By the way, I have like the GitHub Copilot thing installed, so it's gonna help me out to complete some code. So yeah, let's go ahead and define an index route. As it says, but well, let's go define the templates folder. First index.html. And in here, we can go to views.py. And in here, we can say def index def search. Uh, yeah, so that's going to be the main route. Um, so how would it work? is you can basically, so let's take a look how we're gonna interact with the API. By the way, I haven't signed up yet. Uh, you can go to, I will leave a link in the description down below where you can sign up this API. For today, uh, if we have time, we're just gonna focus, if we have time, we'll work on implement both search TV and search movie, but I would like to implement search TV first. So it looks like it does give us uh, quite a lot of information, give us API key or no, well, we need API key. We need the query, how many other stuff? All right, looks good. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this then. So in here, we're just gonna get the query. Request.get queue, right? That makes sense. And in here, we're gonna import request. By the way, we're gonna I'm gonna try to comment my code more often so we can so it's make it easier to understand it. I'm gonna import requests, which I think should be installed. And then uh, uh, ooh, that's a good question. Okay, we could do that. We can check if it's empty or not. Oh my god, what is this? Not remotely the API one. Sometimes I don't like it. Requests. All right, Control Z. Um. All right. And I'm gonna get the data from the API. So data. So if query exists, if it uh else. That is not running a template. All right. 
So let's send a request. Network here, true service unavailable. Okay, by the way, this is my API key. So I'm gonna define a new constant or a constant variable. Uh, can I call it? I I don't know. I don't know the API I'm using. TMDB. Good. Um, need to do the environment variable later. Um, okay. This is gonna be an F string again. Good, there we go. Um, all right, get the result and uh, let's go ahead and parse the data. So, I guess we'll try to access it, see what we get. Um, let's see, API key. Uh, we also need, uh, the actual query, right? Mm, yeah, we need the query and query equals hot. Okay, it works perfect. It works perfectly. Nice. Um. All right, so yeah, so here we can say question mark query equals query, and in here we can return going to return HTTP response. Uh, is it HTTP? That's what I say, right? From no, I should have response. Oh, I misspelled response. Okay. That should be pretty much it. Um, let's. See. Yeah, it's not that hard. Uh, let's go ahead and design a layout for two. Or well, let's call it base HTML rounding. As always, we're gonna get the bootstrap. I love bootstrap. One of those say the best, the, the good project would be design our own bootstrap framework, but I don't like CSS at all. So, yeah, this one it is. Uh, Okay, uh, gonna put it here. And in here, gonna call it home. So, uh, well, not home, that's a block title and a block div.container block main and Block. All right, that's our base HTML, and now we can go to index HTML. We can say extend base HTML block title this home page and block and block with a copy. Ooh, okay. All right, so in here, let's just add a basic form and get form. The actual will go to slash search, and in here, we're just going to have a basic input uh, div.form group, right? I think that's what it's called. Wait, um, oh my god. All right, let's take a look form. What kind of form it is. Um, okay, that doesn't help me at all. Okay, and it just boot me back to the home page. Because it's bootstrap. That's a lame pun. <laughs> Anyhow, we're gonna go to form. 
Uh, from control. Mm, yeah, control. That's pretty much it. Uh, okay. So I need to copy this. I'm trying to copy it inside. These extra spaces. Okay. Uh, div not a class for now. We'll see what we get in a later. Uh, I don't want a label for that yet. No idea is necessary then. Place it will just be your search query. Um, input type will be just text. However, we'll have a name. We'll call it Q. And then we'll say uh, we're gonna get another div button. Submit. Submito. We're going to return results.html data is data. Alright, uh, and we're going to define a index row, of course, as we always do. Let's just run your index HTML. Alright, let's get our results.html open and up and running. Uh, copy this, change it to results. And for now, let's just display plainly, quite frankly, the just that itself. I think we're ready. Let's go run the server and see what we get. Okay, now I've seen this error before. All right, I think I might made a mistake. Well, I did make a mistake. No, I think that makes sense. Oh, shoot, why do I? Hmm. No wonder why it's recursion, because it's keeping clear of something. All right. Looks like we need to pip in our requests. All right. Almost there. It's there. Let's put on the server again. Um, I don't think that matters that much. All right. Let's go to the home page. Apparently, the empty path. Alright, apparently I don't want to do this then. Or else pattern, yeah. Let's try to refresh again, see what we get. Some doesn't exist. Index HTML. Mm, okay. Oh, should it be wait? Let me see if I can rename it. Should it be template and then home? No, wait. Oh, okay, now I messed this up completely. Um, okay, it's slash home slash templates. All right. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna move this um, to the home for now. And then gonna reset some stuff up. All right, delete, move to trash. Uh, okay, I think it's home first and then templates. Been a while since I created a... And then plural, or it's plural. 
the name Tempus. Good. Now I have these back in. Yes. Yes. And yes. Right, let's give it a second to load. Perfect. Uh, gonna bore and try again. Sometimes that might fix the error. If this still doesn't fix the error, gonna apply the migrations. Yeah. Mm hmm. Maybe this should be what? Template slash. I have. I will need to check. Okay, I don't want this deep here. We'll need to run the server again. That will check something. That will check something right there. All right, refresh the page. Still doesn't work. All right, give me a second. Let me see if I can find this. Just a second. Sorry about that. Been a while. Partial look all these up before I made a video. But you know, sometimes it happens. Currently, I'm just doing some research on my phone. Alright. Okay, so this is, it just said return home. And no, that's not how template supposed to be. This should be template. Templates. And this need to be home. Good. All right, try again, see what we get this time. Oh, okay. Well, at least we see something here. All right. Um, uh, sorry about that. Yeah, no clue. I did here. Refresh the page again. I think they need this. Assume I have to say home and home. Good. Um, all right. That doesn't look good. Did they remove some classes? I saw they didn't. Well, I mean, I didn't check for like a few months, so they probably did. Submit. I'm going to submit this not exist. I don't want to submit. I'm just going to say primary instead. Search. Good. All right. So, search high. Oh shoot, I forgot to implement a search route. Uh, search. Uh, search. Name equals search. Alright, we're to reload. There we go. Refresh the page. Oh my god, did I do this? Everything. 
to refresh the page again, and it still says the syntax is wrong, which does not make sense because it's not wrong. Refresh the page. Reload. There we go. All right, absolutely nothing for now. That's not good. <laughs> Oh, and yeah, that's not good. But I'm afraid they might have some rate limiting, like 60 minutes, 60 requests or something. Get help with that. That's sometimes annoying. Okay, so we didn't see anything print out. Um, so the first thing I need to make sure is data vector print out here as well as a query. Alright, as well as gonna check this query is getting the query. Okay, response four two two. Okay, let me. I have no clue what this response for two two mean. Unprocessable. Oh, shoot! This should be an end. Oh no! Oh, maybe that's the end. Who knows? All right. Uh, refresh again. Okay, that's not the issue, looks like. Still is 422 right now. Means the server understand Okay. Um. So basically, it knows everything, but just cannot process it. Okay, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do this too. Oh, now it's apparent. So that's a two hundred. So now let's see whose fault is it. Yeah, it did return a lot of stuff. So, excuse me, I guess we can work with it. It's a dictionary. All right, let's, oh, I, uh, okay, it's not working exactly how I expected because it should print the data out. And right now it's not printing any data out. I'm not sure what's happening here. Well, we can say for D in data, data dot what? We need a dot, I think. Uh, dot results. I right, can terminate the website we're running again. I'm suspecting there is something wrong anyway. Uh, 
Yep, there is definitely something wrong. I'm not running V right now, but that's what it is. Yeah, I have no clue why this is not working. Let me try an incognito window. No, it's not working here either, so... Okay, let me... Yeah, I mean, not sure it's not working. Not sure it's not working, though. I miss data. He has a response object. Hmm. Okay, let me let me think about it, see what's happening. Yeah, you know what? It's not working. And I'm not sure why it's not sending the data. Alright, it's been really too long since I did any Django thing. Yeah, I think I'm doing the right thing. So I'm not quite sure what's wrong here. Unless it didn't turn anything, which does not make sense, but... Yeah, return all stuff. Surprisingly, didn't all put any of it. I'm right, just gonna call this D. Oh shoot! I need to do this, right? Oh my god, I am so stupid right now. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, I think that's off the problem. Good for me. Awesome. See what we get this time. There we go. Oh my god. I kind of forgot because I forgot. I have quotation marks around it. Okay. 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 Good. So now.
Let's go ahead dis dis displate them. So I'm gonna see how many of those are. Okay, it does have a lot of results. All right. So I think we'll group them in three. So we'll say format. So we're gonna use a car to display them and the using bootstrap. And the car can be like, uh, I think three. Um, three card per each row. So that's where we're gonna. Yeah, that's where we're gonna. Okay. Um, let me put in results. Actually, I want to format this first. I'm kind of confused now. Too much things need to get done. Uh, <laughs> so here we'll just say results. Results still will be. There will be less than. And it's basically we'll have sublists, right? So basically we'll say for data. Bracket result for uh, D in data result. Um, what we can say for movie? Yeah, I'm just gonna say M for M in data results. Um, all right, so I need to have let's get the name, get the overview. So name, overview, original name, and I need the full poster pass. Mm, yeah. So results that append uh, append a sublist. So M bracket name. M bracket poster pass. Wow, I feel like it will listen to me. Bracket ID. No, I don't want that. Um, and bracket name, um, overview. Well, at least that print didn't actually listen to me, otherwise, I wouldn't know exactly what I'm on. Go along this line. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. Okay, yeah, that's all we, we want for now. And it's gonna be grouped in a range of three. Right, it's gonna be grouped in a range of three. Um, so we will also want to do a. I don't know, maybe a temporary list and results. Say temp data pen. If. Length of temp is less than three appended. Yeah, something like that. I don't know if this one line is going to work. And we're going to say results. This results. 
the easier for me to work with, I suppose. Alright, now I just want to get out the card to display. So after being quite a while, but I want to get this feature at least done. Uh, oh my god, I don't... Did that row. Let's see if it works. Let's refresh the page. So, this box up just a sub squared button. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I'm not going to do that either. Shoot that like right there. Alright, let's refresh the page again. Attribute. Oh my god. This object has no links. Oh. I don't know what I'm doing now. And that should be it. Okay, good. That that looks nice for now. Um you know, I'm just gonna add some board or some paddings. Ten pixel. Not too much, not too less. No, not padding is a border. No, it's margin, right? Yeah, it's margin, I think. Okay, yeah, you yeah, apply to air right down. I'm just gonna see how it looks. Okay, yeah, that, that looks perfect. Alright, uh so here we're gonna say for result for our your results. Right. Actually, you know what? Plan B. We're gonna append a dictionary here instead. All right. For M and R, all right. So this is dot name. M dot overview. I'm just sure the first page that we get. Okay. Okay, the problem is Oh no, it's keep returning the same movie. Okay, search, search. Oh no, please search for something. Hi. No, you still have duplicates. I don't know, I have duplicates. Let's see. 
Hi the high. High five. And then it's hero. And it's high five again. Why would it go back back to high five? No, I don't think this looks good anyway. Um, okay, here's the plan. I'm not going to do any of these. It's just going to be data. I think, I think they have a, have like big, gigantic, galaxies and what I would look for. Yeah, these work. I'm gonna try. Please don't copy. All right, I'm gonna try this instead. So here you're gonna say, "Oh my gosh, stop!" All right, four m in data dot results. All right, and in here we're gonna say um, dot name. All right, let's refresh. Okay, now that doesn't help me. Thank you, though. But... All right, once I get this wrap up, I think that will be it for this video. It's pretty long anyway. No, I don't want it. Why are you showing me? Did I ask you to print it? Oh my god, what am I doing here? Alright, refresh again. Oh, good. No, Dubik is high five again. Did it? Did Dubik get high five here too? Okay, the fifth one. One. Two, three, four, five. Oh, never mind. Okay, I think that's remake. <laughs> no, never mind. Yeah, it's not my fault. Looks like, apparently. Um, I'm looking for this. So this is m dot overview. All right, that's how it looks. Good. Um, all right. The final thing: get the image. The image. Image. Okay. How do you? Oh my God! I think I literally. I think I literally. Yeah, there you go. All right, so I'm just going to copy the prefix and and it's what um dot poster. Yeah, I'm done poster pass. All right, let's refresh the page. Oh my god, these are so disproportional. We need to resize it. This is slash W50. 500 or something, I don't know. Okay, yeah, I had to do a... How to do a no with this farm? How to do a height limitation? Holy God! All right, I'm gonna see if we can figure this out. Hmm. <sighs> 
No, 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 this is... Okay, absolutely nothing. I'm gonna do a really risky attempt. I'll resize it to a perfect square. It's not gonna look nice. Okay, I don't think I can. Wow. This poster really sucks. You know what, just original. These posters, wow. Well, I guess that's the best we can do of resizing it. Unless we reset the entire thing, I don't know. Oh, that's in uh, in okay. Well, I guess this is off a great start. Um, just one more thing. I want to see if we can search multiple. What? Oh, please, just, okay, I'm gonna search Squid Game. Let's see if it gave me a result back. It did. Hundred, yeah, perfect. All right, so we successfully set out our initial movie application with some minor setbacks, but I think we are all ready to go. So, next, uh, so in the next video, I think we're gonna start, at least see if I can fix this thing. This is extremely not nice for any user interaction. Probably going to switch back to card, but we'll see if I can figure that out. But yeah, thank you for uh, coming for today's video. Uh, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment down below. But as always, stay safe and help for the rest of your day. And that was me, out.